Hey, guess what? Uh, so we we're on this airplane, and the the pilot died again. Can you imagine that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, last time we were landing in beautiful, sunny Southern California. Uh, it's raining outside, and we can't see. Shit. Suddenly, the rain started, and these dang pilots <laughs> and their dang tickers. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? it? What is this? It's a convention. Again, what, what's the theme of this one? This is a baby convention. It's this, a baby convention. There's 398 <laughs> babies on this airplane <laughs> and us two assholes. <laughs> we have to go back. All right, we're at 9,700 feet. We're, at, we're almost about 300 knots. Okay, so uh, let's get, uh, if you're in the 747, let's get you back to about 45% power. Let's try to get you back to about 250. The first thing you always do, we're just gonna fly the airplane, right? Now, because we're going into some airport here where obviously you guys can't see the runway because there's some bad weather, we got some clouds and stuff. We gotta talk about how to set you guys up for a precision approach to an ILS. What, what's the, what, what, what is an ILS? It's an instrument landing system. So it's a navigation aid that is very useful for basically not seeing out of the cockpit. The, the first thing we got to do is set up the frequency for the nav aid. Are you guys flying the airplane? Uh, I, I'm holding the sticks and uh, we're still, oh, we're climbing a bit. We're at like 13,000 feet. Do your best, uh, keep your pitch at one to two degrees. Maybe 50 to 60 percent on the uh, the engine uh, throttles, and uh, just try to keep your speed now. What's your airspeed right now? 275. All right, we're gonna try to get to about 250. I don't want to get you there too quick, so hold the power back a little bit. The first thing we got to do is find where you're gonna tune in this frequency, and it's very important that you're not just trying to tune into the uh, the radios. Okay, I'm looking right now. Let's see. These the boxes say calm on the sides. We have a box that's like ident at the top has model, nav data, OP program, OPC, index, position in it. Here's the deal. Okay, so I, I'm trying to get you guys to discern between radio frequencies and nav frequencies, but screw that. Anything on your uh, in between you two guys that's going to be okay. in between the two pilots that you see that it has a couple of numbers, like just two of them all. Let's get 110.3. And that is for the ILS 30 left into Minneapolis. You're coming from the Southeast. Just put them in all, everything. You got it. All right, so then when you look at the dash, so there's your, your instrument display, you got, you got your map, you got your attitude indicator, you got your engines, but then above that, you have this whole display on top there that's gonna have a bunch of things, it's gonna say, maybe HDG, it's gonna say heading, Yes. altitude, yes. Uh, but is there one button that says course? We're looking. Oh man, there's so many buttons. There's a lot of knobs. They should be, at least on the 737, they're on the, uh, usually on the outer edges of both sides of the, uh, the panel on the edge here, okay. usually on that panel where there's the uh, the dash there, there's gonna be three places mm -hmm. where you can have a number that is three digits. So one is uh, where you select your heading. I see one that's like in the center. Heading, yeah, heading auto and then five to 25. What does the heading say? 309. And that's only going to be something that if you use the autopilot, it's actually going to tune that in. Tell me right now though, we're still flying the damn airplane. What's your heading right now? Our headings uh, three one four, uh, altitude is one uh, eleven thousand five hundred, and then oh we're at about two thirty knots. Turn left to let's do two four zero. We're, we're going to delay here. I don't want you guys to get into this approach yet until we're ready for it. There are two things I'm really trying to get you guys to do, and that is one. Did you set all the frequencies on that panel? Behind the throttle to one ten point three. That is that done. I just gotta I gotta confirm that. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna to try to very simply. I need you to listen to me very carefully. Okay. I'm gonna to try to get you on autopilot. So on that dash, it's just, so you got your dashboard, your little dashboard below the window with all these knobs. Yes. You have numbers. Do you see the one that references the altitude? Yes, ten thousand. Okay. Have that be ten thousand. Then okay. number two. Do you see a button that says 
the autopilot. There should be two of them. They, or it might say command. It might say CMD. Do you see a button that says command or autopilot? I see one that says APP. Yeah, I see command. I see app engage, autopilot engage, L, C, and R. So remember, remember APP because that is going to be the button that's going to lock you into the ILS. We're not okay. pushing that now. You see one that says CMD? Do you? Yep, yep, three of them actually. Okay. All right, stay level, stay flying. You're at, you got in the uh, the window, it says 10,000 feet, correct? I have to make sure. But right, yes, that's... it's set to, it's set to 10,000. It's set to 10,000 feet, okay. Yep. So what I want you to do is I want you to hit that command button, and then I okay. want you to hit VNAV. Do you see a button that says VNAV? Yes. Okay, so hit command, VNAV, and then I want you to hit a button that says Heading select, which might be HDG, it'll have a knob that lets you to uh, turn the, the, the heading. What heading would you like to, uh, to set autopilot to? Is the autopilot on? Not yet, I'm about to do it. Here we go, ready? Engage. Yep. CMD, on, and then VNAV, right? VNAV. On. You can see on that little display above the attitude indicator on your screen, you should see some numbers and uh, some some letters, but it's yeah, working. I think it's heading, working. Heading's on hold and VNAV's on PTH. Okay, uh, so you're on path hold, so PTH, that's path. What I want to know is that you don't have, you should not be, if you are in autopilot, you should not have to control the aircraft. I'm, I'm not touching the controls and it looks like it's leveling at about 10,000. It's, it's going up and down a little bit, it's bobbing up a little bit though. That, well, it's job right now, because you set 10,000 feet into the altitude window, it should find that altitude. It's it's doing it, it's working. Okay, did you click the heading select button? Uh, I did not, I think. So what did we want to set the heading to? Well, hit the heading select button. It's gonna, it, oh, it's turning. We turned it on. It's, it was set to 304, so it's, it's making us bank. Good, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Whoa! It's 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 we're real, it's cranking. You got it. You got it. You got to listen to me here. Turn the heading to let's do two eight zero. So on that little dash, underneath the dash where you see the, uh, <laughs> the heading displays, I want you to turn that little knob to two eight zero for now. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> it's like a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> so the plane is flying on autopilot right now, correct? Yes. Although my speed's dropping for some reason. There's a there's a little window on that box where you might see a little switch. This is AT, which is auto throttle. You can turn auto throttles on, and then you can control the speed by a knob that should yeah. say speed, and set the speed to 250 if you do that. If not, well, I'll give you a throttle setting. Turn thrust mode on. Okay, I, things seem to be working. The plane's flying a little bit faster now. And you're at 10,000 feet, it's holding your altitude. You got the auto throttles on. Hit the speed intervention button. All right, speed intervention, here it comes. And uh, then you see, now you see the numbers pop up, correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, so just set it to 250. It's at 250. It's at 250. Let's do 220. Let's do 220. Oh, okay. Turn the knob to 220. I and know you can fly this plane auto. just with some knobs. This is great. This is way easier. There's only three tiny knobs you have to worry about now. I don't, I don't need this whole joystick or anything anymore. Now I need to get <laughs> you set up for the damn approach here. So, uh, All right. <laughs> you have 110.3 in every single, I don't care if it's the frequency or the navigation, you got it in every single one behind the throttle, right? Yeah, but there's, so it says VHFL and that's set to 124.000. We typed in 110.300 on the numbers. Yeah, well, I don't, it won't do it. It won't do it. So that was, okay. I was just trying to make sure you got the right one because 110.3 does not actually work with uh, uh, VHF frequencies. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna set your altitude window. So your altitude window is 10,000, right? Yes. I want you to, I want you to spin that down to 3,000 feet. Wait, 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 wait. Our actual autopilot altitude? Yes, I want you to set the altitude on the altitude window to 3,000 feet for now. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Does, does that mean the plane's going to go down? Are you still in heading select where you're, it's still on the heading mode, right? Correct? Yes. yes. 280. Yeah. All right. Let's do, uh, I want you to turn to a heading of zero one zero. You got it. 
Oof, the ba plane is just turning on its own. It's kind of scary, make my stomach drop out. Dude, all the babies are crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got 3,000 feet in the altitude window, and I want yep. you to hit the button that says LVL change. Do you see that button? Oh. <sighs> I could click the button. If, do I want to enable it? When you hit level change, this is going to put you into, your throttles are going to come to idle, and it's going to descend you down to 3,000 feet, which I'm trying to get you set up for this approach. Okay, I, I, I clicked it in, I think that did what you're talking about. Throttles are going down. I don't know if we're descending, really. Oh, we're not. We're, we're not descending yet. We're still yeah. at 10,000 almost. Uh-oh. Is there a button that says VS, V-speed? Yes. All right, do VS and do minus 1,500. Minus 1,500, you got it. 1,500, wow, okay. Minus, negative, neg negative. It's a little, it's a little aggressive, but it's, it's gonna be fine. I want okay. you to turn to a heading of 090. I'm not gonna let you get on this approach until we're all set up. 090. On top of that, you guys are descending at 1,500 feet per minute down to 3,000. What's your airspeed? Two, 237. Okay, and you got that in the uh, speed window. That's fine. It might go a little bit over because vertical speed uh, will take over priority to airspeed. Just don't touch anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get you guys. So you got the heading window, but there's another, there's two windows that look just like the heading window. And one's on the left and one's on the right. And it should say course. Uh... <laughs> are we talking about on the LCD display or are these buttons? I need to look up the, uh, I'm going to look up the cockpit here for the 747. I need to see exactly what you guys are looking at. Take the heading, uh, the heading, uh, the heading knob and let's put it to 300. 300. Oh, that's the bank. I'm vectoring you guys while we figure this shit out. I wish you guys were flying the 737 right now. Let me see where this damn thing is. I feel like it's his computer. Yeah, there's these little calculators <laughs> next to the, like, the engine, uh, diagram. It's gotta be this flight computer, no? We're running out of options, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. You got time. If you got okay. gas, you got time. But uh, why don't you turn to a heading of 330. Turn to 330, you got it. So in the 747, apparently, it's definitely the 737, but the, uh, the navigation panel is not on that panel. So let me look at your, your dash here. I didn't know in the, uh, I'm not sure if the 747, if you gotta actually tune this into the computer, which is interesting. That's not something I was used to. If you go to Navrad, can you input a frequency? Navrad. Vor L, Sierra 0, ADF 890.00, ILS dash MLS, bracket and bracket. I would imagine I can. So I, I understood all of you're saying, but this is very, very different from the 737 because there's knobs that you actually tune in frequency courses. I think I did it on accident. It, my so ADFL is at 110.3. Automatic direction fighter is at 110.3. Yes. Does it give you somewhere where you can put in a course, like a heading? Like, cause we gotta get you yes. to put in a... Uh, yes. Okay, so you gotta, then we gotta put in a 301. Done. Turn to a heading of, uh, let's do 27, 280. 280, you got it. Can't see anything in this airplane. It's all foggy. It's up. all white and rainy. If we are lucky here, and we got the uh, the the navigation aid tuned in, and we got the course set for the ILS, which is what you need, you're going to intercept what is called a final approach fix, and that's going to be about let's see, it's going to be uh, going to be about six seven miles from the runway when you intercept that. So when you intercept that, you're going to hit APP long before you get there. The autopilot is going to grab on to this ILS. Basically, whenever you see the runway, you're going to have to disengage the autopilot, probably disengage the auto throttles. Okay. But hopefully by that point, we're going to be fully configured to land. I want you to turn to a heading of 310. Yeah, Captain. I'm vectoring you back around to intercept the final approach course for this ILS, but the biggest problem here is uh, is if you guys actually got the ILS tuned in with the navigation of the course, so I hope that actually worked. Uh, let's go flaps five. Got it. All right, flaps five, uh, I'm gonna turn it to a heading of 200. 200, coming right up. 
Oh my goodness, oh. we're close to the ground. We're so we're so close to the, it's like through the fog we can see glimpses. <laughs> we're about three thousand feet. So you see the uh, the engine gauges. Yeah. There's a thing down below it, and then on both sides there's two of these little computer boxes, right? Yep. Okay, so I want you to hit the uh, the RTE root page. Got it. When we explain buttons, you see how there's six buttons on each side of the screen? Yep. It's like an ATM. So we're going to say like L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6. So if I say hit the L6 button, that means hit the, the lowest button on the left side of the screen, right? Got it. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to type in N-A-R-C-O. All right. Here we go. N A. R, C, O. Okay, it's tight. Okay, and, and you're on the, uh, actually even better. Let's go to, the, do you see a button that says legs? L-E-G-S. Oh, yes. Yeah. Legs. Okay, yeah. Hit the legs button. <laughs> okay. And then take that, take that narco mm -hmm. and put it into the L1 spot. Got That's it. That's the very, the very top button. Did it, did it appear up there? It did not. It unfortunately did not. Maybe the video game doesn't work that way. I'm not sure. Well, this, the computer seems pretty detailed, so maybe we're just not quite on the right legs page or something. This computer also feels like it was made in 1980. Well, actually, all these uh, were made by Honeywell in 1992. Oh, wow. If we want to actually set up the FMC in the box here, you're going to scroll through the pages. You're going to look for ILS 30 left. All the stuff on the left sides are names of different, like very long procedures to come into the runway. But on the <laughs> right side, on the right side, you're going to see things like ILS localizer RNAP, right? We do. Yes. So I want you to select ILS. Uh huh. Thirty left. Got it. Okay. So, but before you execute it, so you you put that in. Like, oh, uh -huh. I can actually see it. Uh, go ahead and execute it. That's fine. That's fine. Whoop. Executed. We have new symbols and stuff on our altimeter. All right, turn to a heading of three, three zero, oh. and then hit right. the APP button. Hitting it. It's on. Wait, wait, wait! I'm watching you. It's it's doing it. It's doing it. It's doing it. Okay, <laughs> so it's doing it. Um, so what's your airspeed right now? One ninety. Okay, gear down. Gear down. Gear down. Gear down. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. What's your flap setting? Still at five. 10, 10, 10. Turn the airspeed down to 140. Airspeed down to 140, are you descending? No, oh, uh, no. yes, 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 yes we are. Okay, you got it, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. okay. You, 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 don't, you don't have a lot of time. Let's go full flaps, speed 140, gear down. Uh, be careful, so you're gonna break out the clouds here. Do not disengage the autopilot until you see the runway. Oh, I see the runway. Okay, we see it, autopilot coming off. Autopilot off, autopilot off. Fly the airplane, keep your airspeed, and we, we you've already done this what you've done this place. I want to see a good flare. No rolling. Keep it down. Put the numbers on the dash. You All got right, this. You got this. Throw them down, Sam. You Throw them down. This. Throw them down. <sighs> Come on, Sam. Watch your out what's your altitude? A uh, thousand. No, Come on, Sam. you're too high. Are you down? Are you at a thousand? No, 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 we're right over the runway. Get that, get those tires on the ground. Oh, Whoa! You, you're good, you're good. You're good, use those brakes, use the brakes. Be gentle, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Turn those brakes on, turn those brakes on, stop the brakes, use the brakes. I, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's why you have co-pilots. Oh. Thank you for reaching over. <laughs> Are you on the ground? We're on the ground. We stopped. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Those babies were screaming. I think I tapped the ground or something. Sam hit the ground pretty hard. I think I hit, I think I hit pretty hard. And we were like, dude. It's so intense when you break out like, oh my god. There, there was like no time to think. Suddenly it's like, boom, you're there. It's like, oh god. Welcome to my world, boys. I, I can't believe we actually got that. That's uh, so fantastic. Dude, that's two tries in a row that we've actually managed to land the plane in an emergency situation on the first try. That was really close, though. Dude, you're a good teacher, man. You're really good at walking people through this. Honestly, guys, though, wow, good, good job. Way to, way to pilot us on a plane that you like is an old like '90s piece of technology that you don't necessarily fly at all. You guys uh, make my night every time I do this, so it's uh, my absolute pleasure. If you like that video, let us know in the comments.
If there's a special air hazard, air situation that you think would be cool to recreate in Microsoft Flight Simulator, let us know. We'll definitely hit up Matt and do another one of these. We have to go back, Kate.